Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web. We are here with Frank Stallone. Yes. Oh yes, here at Red Carpet Events LA, uh, Style Lounge celebrating the Grammy Awards. And yeah. I know, you had me you know, on, down on one knee yes. when I was traveling because of course we want him to be feel comfortable. Of course. He's all relaxed because we're over here and you just had what, the Tikkun yes. spa? Yes. It's a, yeah, Tikkun, it's really good. I just had my neck massage because it was chilling. It was just, really? Oh yeah. Magic hands? Yes, I think it's all those years of playing those heavy guitars. You know, just heavy guitars. Yeah, Les Paul. I, I always think of you as more of a um, a, a, a film. Well, this you know, people music. think of that. I, I was a musician first. I was. I remember I was nominated for a Grammy for here for best soundtrack in '83. And but I got into film from music. So I, I was yeah. I got about 12 albums out. But I started as a musician and then kind wow. of had some success with the music. I was a young guy coming up and then I started getting into movies and then kind of learned on the job. Went to acting classes, but also I was fortunate enough to get a lot of movies. So I've done about 67 movies at this point, yeah. Well, you know, it, it, and it doesn't hurt that you look a little bit like your brother. Well, <laughs> it, it actually does hurt. That's why I grew oh, a beard. Does? Yeah. Oh, I'm kidding. Because there's only room for one guy, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, so, but, um, but you know, we both have our own careers, and the and, and the business has changed. It's gotten real tough. It's, yeah. it's not easy as easy as it used to be. And but you know, I still do concerts, still play all the time. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah. Now you mentioned you have something coming out. Yes, there's a movie uh, John Hertzfeld uh, directed yeah. called Reach Me, and yeah. it's an awesome movie. Uh, Tom Berenger's in it, Tom Sizemore's in it, Kira Sedgwick, Kelsey Grammer, <laughs> uh, Tom Berenger, my, wow. my brother's in it in a cameo. Uh, Kira, yeah, I said Kira Sedgwick. Oh, the guy from Entourage, Kevin Conway. Wow. And the girl from Walking Dead, Cohan. I forget what her last name is. And so it's a big, big, big cast. That's a big cast. And I got three uh, featured songs I wrote and sang in the movie. So you maybe did, you're singing in the movie. Oh, that's all. Oh, that's yeah, so I'm cool. a singer, man. Like if you oh if you gosh. see Staying Alive, I wrote uh, 11 songs for Staying Alive, and I'm singing in them all. Really? Absolutely. That's awesome. That's why I was nominated for Best Soundtrack for. Oh. oh gosh! Now yeah, if I didn't win, this. Flashdance beat me. Well, you know, well, what are you they had do? some water in that one. You know, yeah, what are you gonna <laughs> yeah, do? A little, that? Yeah, a little like... wet, a little bucket on you. Yeah, yeah, that was. But that's uh, so. But I, I mean, that's my first love. I mean, I feel, I, I seriously feel very blessed from God that I'm able to do what I do for a living and, and love it. I mean, been doing it's it my amazing. whole life. It's, it's really an honor. It's a privilege. Yeah. That and God saw, or what how you're, how you're being tapped me on the head. I never worked at it, and just picked up a guitar, could play, could sing since I was five years old. Wow. And and when I was 15, I started making a living, going out playing clubs, and uh, it, it's like an honor to be able to do that. I mean, I've healed a lot of people. I've done well now. It's very popular, the Wounded Warriors. But I used to play in those hospitals for the yeah. veterans that World War II guys. Yeah. And you got to, you know, when you're alone and isolated, you have post-traumatic stress disorder, and some guy comes in for whether an hour, 45 minutes, or I've done it with juvenile delinquents, and you play music and tell stories, it it, it, it helps, it's effect. There's something oh gosh, good okay. about it. Now I want to go hear one of your concerts. You will. I, I've got to. All you do is just go to my website, frankstallone.com, and there's a big yellow thing, sign up, and you're on the mailing list. Mm. Now you mentioned Les Paul. Yes. Les Paul guy from... Les Paul. Yeah, Les Paul guy for, I mean... Well, Les Paul, Les Paul is the... Course. Yes, I play Les Paul. I play every one of them, but I play Strats, Stratocasters, Telecasters. But Les Pauls I play because they're just really great. I've had them forever. But they're heavy. Uh-huh. But not, you know, I'm probably just being a pussy. They're not... <laughs> just, you know. Maybe they could do a Les Paul light. Yeah, we Les could, Paul we, light. Yeah. We could do it right. Then it wouldn't be a Les Paul. It'd be a Les Paul light. Okay, okay. But, you know, the thing is, and uh, tomorrow going to the NAM show. So this is a music week, I'll be at the it NAM is. show Between tomorrow. NAM and Are Grammys, you guys going? We're, we're doing Grammy stuff all week. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not a NAM. We're more focused on Grammys Well, right you now. know, the Grammys has changed a lot. I mean, yeah. when I was nominated, it was at the Shrine downtown. Right. Which is, doesn't hold quite as many people. Thank, thank God. <laughs> it was smaller. It was very industry-oriented. Yeah. Now you got 15, 10,000, 20,000 people with the no, no kid. But it's not even fun. It's too crowded. Uh, just a lot of, you know, just a lot of riffraff hanging around that just bought a ticket. In our day, you had to be invited. 
Yeah. And most everybody was somewhat involved in the music business. Right. So when I was there, when I was not made Prince play, Clapton, Aeros so in other words, and you would be nominated by a you know, a fellow musician. Right. Not some stupid comedian on a sitcom, you know? Yeah. So it was pretty cool. Oh, that's really yeah. awesome. Well, so, we're going to have to catch up with you, Frank. I you mean, will. Th this, is, this is awesome. Okay, Frank, where's the best place to catch up with you on the internet? Uh, FrankStallone.com is my website. Uh, uh, Twitter, I'm at Stallone. That's pretty hard to remember. <laughs> and uh, I have Frank Stallone Official, which okay. is uh, on Facebook. Facebook's easy for me. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, there's a lot of Frank Stallones, but you'll know it's me. I mean, there's Frank. You don't have your mugshot on there. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's always like there's one guy who goes, hey, it's a black Frank Stallone. I said that's not me. <laughs> there's an Asian Frank Stallone. I said that's not me. Well, you could like trick, you know, put your somebody else's picture up for you. Well, that's for a what while. people I think do. But oh. mine is I have like an old. You'll see it's like a it looks like a misty scene going to far. But you'll see my face. I have a beard. I'm wearing a tuxedo. Well, usually but my go, pictures are all over the place. But if you go to your website, then you link to the Facebook from yeah, there. Yeah. Then, you, then you get to the right one. Yeah, and my Twitter. I'm, I'm verified on Twitter, so I'm real. You know, sometimes a lot of people are fake. But, yeah. You know. Well, here's the real deal. We'll even pinch him for you. See, I'm okay. real, baby. <laughs> okay. And we're here with Frank Stallone here celebrating Grammy Week. I am. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Frank.